In this tutorial I would like to look at alternate assemblies. The idea behind these is that you can um, create variations on the same assembly. So down the left hand side we have the um, alternate assemblies tab. Let's just pin that in so that we can work with it. Um, one thing worth mentioning is that once you've converted the assembly into a alternate assemblies you can't go back to just a plain old assembly so you may want to take a copy first. So if we go into new um, we've got two options um, once you've decided which way you're going to go you can't go back so maybe you want to have a um, alternate positions as opposed to a family of assemblies or both um, in which case you may want the copy as well. So um, family of assemblies allows you to have um, similar parts and in the alternate positions you would choose to have um, say uh, cylinders shown in the um, open or closed position. So we're going to look at the um, family of assemblies and what we're going to do is have two different arm types. So we'll have a um, curved arm as it is shown now and the new one will be a straight arm and when we go OK it will default to the um, second assembly so that we can actually redefine it. So what we want to do is we want to click on here and go replace part and accept that and we need to just change location. So if we go down into the working directory we have a uh, straight right arm and we'll need to replace the second arm as well. And this one will be the left. So now that we've defined our um, two variants, um, we can actually see what the differences are just by changing the options in here. We also have the ability to um, look at this within a table format. So um, you know you have your the same sort of options. We can create a new member. Um, we can uh, rename the member and update. And activate so we, we, we can come in here and, and change these in here as well um, so you've got the full control we've also got variable capabilities um, to uh, redefine things as well so once we've created that um, we can then save this and where that then comes into effect is with if we want to place that into a, a main assembly we can do, do that or we can go into um, draft and then when we go into our view wizard and we go down into this directory here where the assembly is held and this one here once we go open um, we get the choice of which of the members that we want to place into the model or into the draft view so then we can we can then see that that comes through with that variation then if we wanted to we could go back and we could then place the same thing again and in this case we will go with the armed um, yeah curved arm option so you can see that this is um, quite powerful functionality when you have multiple assemblies that are very, very similar.